Hey developers, today we're going to look at five podcasts that I think you should check out if you're a developer. Now, these podcasts are great for beginners, they're great for intermediate and advanced developers, and I'm going to tell you them in no particular order. Hey, if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a senior full stack developer, and I do this YouTube channel. And I teach a lot about JavaScript, different frameworks, Vue.js, and also giving you advice on what you should do as a developer. So if you like these this type of channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and click that like button and that really helps me out. So before we get too far, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Progress. Now, if you don't know who Progress is, they're behind Kendo UI, they created NativeScript, they do a lot of stuff in the mobile development landscape and they created this ebook, it's 100% free. In the description below, make sure you click on the link. You can put your email address in and get this ebook and it has everything about the mobile development landscape. It's actually a pretty interesting read. It talks about mobile development in the early days and what it's like to create mobile apps today. So make sure you click on that link in the description and you can download this free ebook and let's begin. All right, so these five podcasts are ones that I listen to that I really enjoy. And the first one I wanna talk about is syntax.fm. And by the way, I put a gist link below. You can have a link to all five of these podcasts. Actually, I have a sixth one I want to talk about. And you click on that and it has all the links. So just click on that description below to get that link to all the podcasts that I'm talking about. So syntax.fm, it's a podcast with Wes Boss and Scott Talinsky. They do two episodes a week. One is more of a traditional, like an hour long, single topic episode. They kind of riff back and forth on some topic, usually trying to teach it at the same time, which is really nice. Uh, a lot of uh, the podcasts out there are interview podcasts, and this is one I like a lot because it's not an interview type podcast. It's actually a, a whole meaty episode with a lot of information. Uh, the second type of you know, episodes that they do are these things called Hasty Treats. They're usually little, little uh, not quite as long. They're about 20, 30 minutes long, but they just go over some kind of fun topic. So like the last one they did is on old browsers, fallbacks, and polyfills. Uh, they've done on one Hacktoberfest, Stump 2. So it's kind of just like fun little topics they talk about. Uh, they try to stump each other with like uh, interview questions is one of them. Um, Hacktoberfest, they talk about what that is and the rules. Um, so it's kind of neat little episodes. And then they have longer episodes where they talk about testing or React or Vue.js or a hundred, you know, 11 Habits of a Highly Effective Developer. So, you know, great quality podcast you can find an itunes stitcher i mean they have everything covered and if you don't know west boss i really like his courses actually i have some of my favorite courses listed in the description below i'm an affiliate of his so if you actually buy one of his courses i get a few bucks uh, in fact he just released a, a brand new course on graphql which is really great and actually does uh has some advanced react in there too uh it's an amazing course i really i like his work so i really uh try to promote him. And then Scott Talinsky, he has uh, a website. He has another YouTube channel, Level Up Tuts. And uh, yeah, great, great podcast. Two great developers, so check it out. Another great podcast I really like is JavaScript Jabber. Uh, my friend Chuck actually helps run this whole devchat.tv. He, he has like 20 different developer type podcasts on all different subjects. It's between React, Vue, Angular, this is more of his just interview show where he interviews interesting developers and it's called JavaScript Jabber. This has been around for years. I think it has thousands of people download this podcast every episode. I think they do once a week and it's just great information, great, great developers that they interview, really interesting. So if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in JavaScript, I would highly recommend checking out JavaScript Jabber and yeah, Charles Max Wood, he helps run it all. Now, uh, speaking of which, I actually have my own podcast on this on DevChat.tv. I'm a uh, a panelist. You know, Chuck always runs all the podcasts on his network, but uh, you, it's called Views on View. So this is another interview type podcast. Every week, we interview another person in the Vue.js world that is doing something interesting or cool. And then some actually episodes we just kind of talk about uh you know about about what's happening out there so like for example we did a 
uh, open source episode where we just talked about how different ways of contributing to open source. I talked about my YouTube channel a lot and 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 what I'm doing here and and some other ways in my books I've written. And then uh, Chris Fritz is actually another panelist. He's a Vue.js core contributor. So he talks about how he keeps the docs up upgraded and updated. And then we talked to Divya. So th- there's th- she's also uh, a Vue team member. So there's a l- really interesting amount of people. We talk about, uh, about a lot of interesting subjects. So I would highly recommend checking that Views on Vue. And like I said, all the links for these podcasts will be in the description below in a little gist. Uh, my friend Lauren runs this website, Learn to Code with Me, and she has a great, a great podcast called LTCMW Podcast. It's basically Learn to Code with Me podcast. She she's actually broken it up in seasons, and she's already on season five right now. And every season has like a different theme. So she talks about like the first season I believe was like new developers, and then she talked about uh, you know people with who are a little bit further in the industry. So she has all these uh, great interviews with developers talking about how a lot of them who had nothing to do with computer science or programming became developers. A lot of interesting stories from just people that aren't, you know, they're not huge celebrities in the industry or anything. They're just real people who decided to pick up programming like they're brand new newbies and they decided to become developers. So really great great podcast uh you know i definitely have this on my on my itunes and my stitcher and i just kind of listen to it when i can so i would highly recommend it. and by the way she has a great website too learn to code with me code newbie so they call it the most supportive community programmers and people learning to code so this is another interview types type show where they interview just real developers and and people who aren't necessarily I mean, some of them are, are bigger than others, but just people who have, uh, you know, a passion for programming that decided to um, get into this this field. And so she has just really interesting interviews. You know, Jarvis Johnson, if you don't know him, he has a pretty big YouTube channel. He was just on recently. So it's it's pretty interesting listening to them and and what they're up to. And if none of those interest you, and I, I would say you're crazy if they don't, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com, he created this blog post last year, but it's, he's been updating it uh, on the top ultimate list of developer podcasts. And this has every single podcast you could think of in here listed by category. So if you're kind of bored and you're like a .NET guy, like .NET Rocks is actually really at this point, not just about .NET, it's just uh, anything in the programming engineering field. They have tons of info. Uh, interviews on there that's another great one uh, you could just check out this and just kind of peruse it and see if there's a podcast that interests you uh angular air that's i like that one it used to be on i don't know if it's on anymore game development freelancing entrepreneurship uh, so yeah lots and lots of podcasts you can just kind of click kind of uh check out and, and watch and i've definitely if you know of a podcast you love make sure you put it in the description below let everybody know i'm certainly missing a few great ones out there because the, the it's definitely very there's a whole lot of people doing it definitely it's it's a little crowded but i i'm one of those guys that i take walks every day i you know when i do dishes i always have a podcast i'm listening to and having great podcasts uh, especially developer podcasts, I think I'm, it's kind of like cheating. You know, you're like doing something, but you're also like a little bit learning too. Especially if you're listening to a very interesting podcast where they're they're interviewing someone that's kind of teaching a topic that you're not familiar with. All right, so that's my five podcasts I'd recommend for you guys to check out. Let me know what your guys' favorite in the comments below, and if you have any questions. Um, let me know. I'll, you know what? For you guys who stayed around all the way to the end, I'll tell you one more podcast. There is a uh, a podcast called Career JS, and so if you want to go way back, I actually did this. Gosh, has it been two years now? And yeah, so 2016. So I did a podcast two years ago with two of my friends, and we just talked about our careers as JavaScript developers. This was when I was really getting more into JavaScript. So uh, I, I think I've learned a lot since then, but we did interviews with, with interesting people. We also talked a lot about our lives and, and what we're doing. So if you want to have fun and listen to kind of a throwback 
episode of of what I was doing two years ago. And also there was some pretty good interviews here and as well. I think we even interviewed, we interviewed, yeah, we talked about college. Ken C. Dodds was on our third episode. We just got too busy and we didn't continue it, but I think it's it's kind of a cool series. So yeah, check out careerjs.com if you're interested in that. And uh, for those of you who want to hear a passioned debate between college versus not college, then check out the first episode because I think we get into it because I'm, as you probably know, um, you know, it's fine if you don't go to college, but I was definitely advocating to go to college and the other person on the podcast was advocating not to go to college. So it became a very interesting episode. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.